Hey YouTube, it's your boy Domination. This is back in the base of the trouble to do this. I would do text me man. That was back. You know what it is, what it is, what it is, it is. You know, and, uh, and it is, it is. The only place, only place, only place, only place you could get it. Only place you could get it. Only place you could get it. It's right back in the base. And, 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 and no other place else you could get it. Only place you ever, ever gonna get it. Only place you ever, ever, ever gonna get it. It's right back in the base. Real man rise up. Fake man rise down. Real women rise up. Fake women rise down. Fight the word preacher, preach on. And today's topic I want to talk about is, man, I want to talk about black, black, black relationships. I, you know, I don't know. Tell me if I'm crazy or it's just me. That why is it that they expect you to, you know, win on this person, but they can get somebody else. But you expect that, they, that you got to tote around for them. I'm not waiting on nobody. See, this is a problem. You know, uh, it takes a real woman wait on a man just like a, it takes a real man wait on, wait on a woman. You supposed ain't waiting for nobody. Because if they got somebody else, that tells me right there they don't give a damn about you. Because if they cared that much, if they would stop using people all the time, stop taking advantage of folks, stop lying to folks, and, and, I, and learn about your mistakes, like I said, at least I know what love is. When I was young, I didn't know what love is until I learned from it. You have to love yourself. Just like they got to love they self. Even if they don't have no mother or father. You have to you have to know what love is really about. Because some folks just don't know. They're going to they're gonna fuck up like they always do. But excuse my name, but they're going to mess up. You got men and women who are just like that. You got some men who can't stand women. I don't hate women. I don't like what they do, but I can't stand them. I, I mean, I, that, but I can't stand the stuff they do, but I don't hate them. There are some men who do hate women. And there's probably some reason some men been hurt by women, just like women been hurt by men. See, when, men and women got to take responsibility. Like I said again, men and women will, will never be equal. It just ain't going to happen because thanks to feminists and how that got started, it was it been started by war by men, and how the, it, it, it's productive it, uh, against uh, uh, by women, and ha half of these people. You know, like I said, it, what's been what's been said in that Bible, the man should be the head over the woman. A woman should not be head over the man. People might say it sounds sexist, but if you look in the Bible, it did said that. It did not say that woman is overhead the guy. Some women overhead the guy, and. And men don't like a woman make more money than him because that's he supposed to be the breadwinner. But if a woman make more money than 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 than, than that dude, that's going to be an issue. But if a man made more money than a woman, I don't hear women be complaining about very much. She might quit her job and, and try to take care of him. I, I, I just maybe it bothers me. It bothers me because I look at these other races and I'm saying to myself. People hold hands and, and, and all this other stuff, but you will never find a black man and a black woman holding hands together. You just, you won't find it. I saw it one time and that was on Sonics and that was cute though. They was like teenagers. And that's the problem in, in the black community and we just ignore the one of dread. See, brothers and sisters like that, they need, they, they, need, they need to stay out of my sight because if you want to ignore this problem then you might not find that special person in your life see people want to judge based on material based on money based on how much they see that's that fake world that's that that's that majority rules of people thinking that well you got to be successful in order to have a relationship well not really because if, if the money is gone all your so-called friends gonna be gone your so-called people that your family, that the family's supposed to be stick by your side, they're not going to be there for you. I, I hate when people take advantage of you because you're a good person. I'm a good person at heart, but I can be a mean, critical son of a bitch that I can be. And I'll be ready to kick some ass. I ain't going to lie. And it's like that. It, it, it's, this, it's, this, it's this thing that, I, I, oh, you better than me. You know, that, that, that kind of look. I said, oh, so, okay, so if I'm better than you. Then you're you're not qualification to be better for yourself, right? I'm way ahead of you. That that that's what you're saying. That I can't be a good person. Well, I don't judge you based on your lifestyle, what you do. I understand people are not perfect. 
I understand that people make mistakes. And I try my best not to judge nobody because I don't want my, no, no people to judge me for based on certain things I do. But sometimes in this life, you can't always think you can do what you want because it's sooner or later it's going to catch up to you. And all these women, they're going to think back all the men that hurt them over the years. They, those are men that hurt them. They'll, those are guys they'll do right by. But the but the dude that give him flowers and candy, give him the time, they do not like those type of dudes. Like I said again, women are not used to it. They 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 they'll, they'll mess that up. Just like I used to do this. I didn't like good girls because I thought they was too quiet. But that's all my downfall because you gotta have somebody on your side, man. But you know, us as men, we we're gonna be silent about it. We don't want to talk about it. And that's what's something wrong with these fucking dudes. And in 2014, man, I mean, this, this, this generation, man, it, it just it just suck ups, man. This generation, you know, ever since Obama in there, we went quiet. If if you notice it, black men and black women went quiet, didn't say a word. See, that tell me right there that we've been conditioned. We think that one thing and then thinking the other, you know, you tell me. That we live, we, we, we think we live in an honorable, turnable house and don't understand at any, at, at any moment, nobody out there who ain't going to like us. And I know what I'm talking about. All you got to do is go out there. And you see it all the time. It, I mean, it, it's sad. It's sad. Cause, cause what, what can what can you say about that? It just it just it just it just sad, you know. And 28, I'm better off being single. I'm, I'm better off meet a woman who who don't got children, because I'm gonna tell you, they look at they. What I'm trying to say is that women try to hold all men responsible, and you can't do that. You can't hold all men responsible, just like a man can't hold all women responsible. Maybe sometimes you, it has something to do with you know uh, why why it has something to do why you like these type of people like that. I look at myself sometimes, some of the stuff I do. I said, you know what my problem is? I'm too nice at times. I need to quit doing that. Because there's a group of people who just ain't appreciate it. They are arrogant, man. These people are arrogant. Like hell. It just, you know, if you don't sell drugs, if you're not busting your guns, if you're not pansacking and shit like that, that's why I can't stand negative people. Because th those, those folks right there, they, they want to wish death and try to do harm to you. And they think you're judging them for something the life they did. Oh, oh, they talk about us. Yeah, because y'all fucked up. Y'all the problem. But y'all don't want to look at. Okay, we are the problem. They 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 don't want to. They don't want to face that. This is this is why jobs are pushing overseas. You ever notice that? Ever since Obama got in office, my father told me the reason why they push job overseas because of Obama in there. They didn't want to support the man. So what does that tell you? Black women are quiet. Oh, yeah. They always say they strong, but they tell me right there they're not strong like they think they do. See, a black woman will really be strong and hard damn man and die for that. But you won't find black women are that today. Winnie Houston is one of those women. Rest in peace to her. Uh, Harry Matuffman, Sherry Barkland, those are real black women. But these other black women they got today, they ridiculous, man. This, this whole thing that they they hate the, they hate the fact that the thugs ain't shit. They hate the fact that these dudes are not nothing. And sometimes it's not just the thugs. Sometimes a man he can still be a good man and still fuck up. So don't expect that these guys they got a house and a car and stuff like that. Some they look at they look at black men as soft. I, I I'm kidding you not. They think like the even white supremacists think like that. They think that black men are soft and we're not. We're not. And I know they're not soft. I damn sure ain't soft. I ain't trying to prove to women, to uh, 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 fellas, to nobody. But it's sad that if, if you act a certain way, they think there's something wrong with you. For some reason, they think you act a certain way, there's something wrong with you. Like you act like a child. So that's why they, they came up with this term minority. Now I don't question uh, what 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 means means to her to be a woman. She got to find a, what what means to be a woman to herself. But you know what? Women need to spend more time with themselves, especially with the guys they dealing with. Women are the choosers. Bottom line, it used to be the time that men was the choosers, 
and men where men was decision makers now, but back then women was decision makers. Now sexual roles change. And that's just the way it is. Thanks to feminists. Now you got guys act feminine and women act masculine. They're not men. And I tell women, you're not a man. You might think you, you got male quality. You might think because you could do things for a man. Yeah, you could do things like a man could, but you're always going to be a woman. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Same thing. A man cannot be a woman. No matter what he does in, in this life, he might cook like a woman. He might clean like a woman. He might think and act and react like a woman. He's a man. He's going to think like a man. He's going to fight like a man. He's going to kill like a man. That's what men do. If you don't believe me, how you think white guys construct, they conduct themselves, reproduct themselves to be a man? Chopping trees, go to duck hunting, just go to go to a, a animal hunt. That's what it means to be a man to them and their culture. I went to them uh, uh, fishing all the time with my dad. I went to fishing, and me and my brother, and that was great. But now it costs a lot of much just to get just just get some fish. But you know what? That's just how it is in our society. And I can't stand that the black community. We want to be denied. We want to act like we don't have no responsibility, but we know we does. So don't blame on, on the media. Don't blame Obama. Don't blame anybody else and look at the problems yourself. I look at myself. I say, you know what? I'm too nice at times. That's my biggest problem. You can't be nice to chicks no more because chicks look at you like you ain't going to get no ass when you try to be nice. Right. And women can get offended. But this is true. Women can get offended. But it's the truth. If you think about it, women always think good guys are soft. But the bad boys that go upside their head, beat their fucking ass, those are the guys they don't say nothing. Till I see a woman stand up to those type of dudes. Other than that's the only way that this 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 whole thing can change. But I doubt if it ever gets that. But I hate when dudes do this too. Not women ain't the only ones. You got guys do this. They'll put their hands on a good woman. Ain't done a damn thing to them. But those bad women, men ain't gonna put those hands on those women. And fellas, you can get mad, but it's true. If you if you really do think about it, it does make sense. It does make sense. This is why you can't. You know, because you have to be careful who the people you socialize to. I wish I could have a woman who really who really worth waiting for. I'm not gonna wait on a woman who feel like she can get somebody, but I can't get nobody. I can get somebody just like she can get somebody. And that's the issue. You ain't gonna play me, but but the other guys that did you would knock you up and get you pregnant. You don't do those guys like that. And I think that's what what anger me so much. But but if I say that now I'm the problem. Now oh 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 wait a minute you wrong. But it's the truth. I even seen this from my sisters how they act. This is my experience. This is how I see it. And I'm not gonna put up with that. I'm not gonna put up with my own women or other race of women. People should not get treated like that. Same thing a woman should not get treated like that from a man. If if you can't have respect for yourself, then don't respect anybody else. Women gonna fuck with the wrong man these days. And same thing men gonna fuck with the wrong woman. I'm telling you right now, you can't do people like that. If you're not with that person, leave. What 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 what's the whole point to stick with a person? A lot of people do not know. See they they grew up around hate. I get where hate is coming from. Hate comes from disparity of betrayal because you feel like nobody don't care about you, but you got to care about yourself. Nobody tell you go out there, sell drugs, busting guns and kill innocent people. You know exactly what you're doing, but you figure, well, I'm going to do what I want anyway. It's that Al Crowley quote, do what I will and feel damned to be good and be damned to be good. Or be good to proud what you what you do to do what you want. You only live once. I mean, you ain't gonna live for a long time. You're gonna die. I don't get about black relationships. They like they like this conflict of fighting. They love that stuff. They like that stuff. They like drama. It's just like that love, love of hip hop. It's just like that. All you do, you see a black men and black women fighting all the goddamn time. I'm, I'm afraid that somebody gonna go out there pulling guns, and start shooting. I, I'm telling you, it's like that. And I'm saying this is why domestic violence is so hot in the black community. And it's like that in any other community. It's just not worth it. 
Why should I have to argue my woman every single night, every single morning? No, I'll get the fuck out of here. Because sometimes in this life, you got to save yourself. It ain't worth it. Get you somebody who want the same thing you want. I want peace and happiness and, and quiet cessation. I'm not going to deal with this damn nonsense. It's not worth it. Nobody go, no, no man don't want to go to jail behind no fucking woman. Do you think that a woman go to jail behind a man? No. But see, we can keep denying this problem all we want to because all we do is make the problem worse. But, but I had never seen a black man and black woman hold hands together. Never. Never. I pro it, it probably are out there. Like elderly blacks. They've been together for marriage for a long time. But in the white community, they love each other. They, they can work their issues even if they fight. They'll, they'll work out. So is the Asian community. So is the Latino community. But black women ain't going to address this problem. They, 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 they'll act like they don't know what you're talking about. But yet, they do it every day. I don't want no damn diva. Diva means bitch. Why would I want a woman who acts like a fucking bitch? Ain't nothing soft about me. But that's what some women think in their mind. Well, if he acts a certain way. See, that I'm telling you. I, I, there, there was an ID channel. This white dude been treated like shit by this white woman. And you know what the fuck he just did? He couldn't take it no more. He got a chop act and chopped the hell out of her and her head. Right in the bedroom. And that's what's going to happen to brothers. And brothers going to do that. They're going to do this because they're going to get tired of dealing with this stuff. And they just can't take it anymore. Just like sisters. They get tired of getting treated a certain way. They're going to start. They're going to cut that brother out of his throat. So. Be careful how you treat people nowadays because sooner or later it's going to come back on you. And men and women, avoid that situation. Because at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. And, and I'm going to tell you something else. I wish that person stopped watching my videos. But they they know who that she, who, they, they know who the person I'm talking about. Because if she cared about me like she say she did, she'd been right here right now. But frankly, she don't care because I deal with people like that all the time. You got other race of colors of females. A real woman will wait on a man, even if, if, if he waiting on her. But I'm not going to wait on somebody because life is too short because I'm not taking care of somebody else's kids if that's what she thinks. And it's sad. And, and you know, and black community want to deny it. Don't want to address this problem. I saw my uncle took care of kids like it don't belong to his. I'll be damned if I'm going to end up like he did. I'm sorry. It's not worth it. Fellas, get out of it. Sisters, get out too. It's women, you deserve to have your own kids. You, not, you don't need to be taking care of somebody else, some some other man's children by previous relationship the woman he with. Get you a man who, who got, ain't got no kids like you do. People who got kids, they need to start dating. People who, who do got kids, they need to start dating people who do got kids. I don't think that's not right. Because that's the that that's the issue right there. That's and it's biggest problem in the black community. But but they want to deny. Because not every brother and sister got kids. I love real sisters out there, man, because I know all of them ain't like that, but there are some sisters out there who are like that. And you got white girls and any other women are, are like that. But Back in the 40s and 50s, it wasn't like that in the, in the 40s and 50s. Brothers and sisters help out each other. But if you look at it now, they they just they just can't stand each other, man. And, and that is an issue. That tell you right there, they need to leave these type of wrong type of people alone. Same thing, dudes need to leave these hoes alone. But they're going to keep fucking with them. They always tell me these hoes ain't loyal, but yet you go to the damn pussy, right? Same thing, women were loyal to dick. So what does that tell you? I can't wait till I find somebody real soon because I'm not going to waste my time trying to wait on somebody because they sit there and they feel like they go to Miami Beach and they think they got somebody taking a damn picture. So what does that tell you right there? They full of shit. They really is. It, it showed me some, some of our women like that. Some of our women, and you got brothers like that too. I, I never understand the hatred between black men and black women and leave me out of it. I want to see brothers and sisters work out their issues because we are already killing ourselves as it is. If we ain't killing each other over prison, if we ain't killing each other over damn police, if we ain't killing each other for our own selves, 
from 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 our women. Our own women kill their own selves and they get killed by the fucking police. So what does that tell you? We better understand who our enemies are. We got enemies in other races like whites, Asians, every other group. But sometimes our enemies towards ourselves. And that is the sad part the most that I hate to say this. Doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, Republican, whatever. It doesn't matter if you're a hood, hood, hood dude or a smart dude. It doesn't matter a hood girl or a smart girl. It's sad because it doesn't matter if you're a foreigner or, 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 or from, from, from out of, out of states. It's sad. Why, why we have to be like that? We're the only race of people who do this than any other race. And this is why black community is no longer the people that we once were. We lost that. They always talk about we 12 or 13 percent population. But I, I believe there's more to us right there. You tell me, do you do, 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 do you do you get tired of this about some kind of our relationship? Because I know I'm not the only one. But when a brother and sister date outside their race, a lot of brothers and sisters got a problem with it. They just like damn other race of people that they don't like seeing their other race of dating other people because it's going to confuse their idea of what 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 means what means to be of 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 their of the relation of the of race of their people. I, I just don't understand it. So I may give me a comment, give me a response, and what is wrong with the black relationship nowadays? Because the last time I checked. Brothers and sisters at each other's throats. This time, brothers and sisters gonna pull a knife at each other. And I don't want nothing to do with my people, what they're doing. It doesn't matter if they're African or African American or Black American. It's just fucking ridiculous. We're all black. Black can be some people can be part of little black or no black at all. They feel like they part of the family. I, I just don't understand it. No other race do this. Show me one race that do this stuff than we do. And you tell me and you get back to me. And this go brothers and sisters out there give me a call. But brothers and sisters need to work out their issues. They oh man, they they do. It, it's so much problems, man. It just it's not funny. And no wonder why black men and black women just can't get along. But when they get around other races, they don't say nothing. But when they're on, that's different. We just don't help each other out. But sooner or later, we, we got all we got is each other. Nothing else, nothing else more. And that's all I can say about that. It's your boy nomination. This is back in base. Chuck the do this how we do take baby. Chuck the do how we do takes baby. Until next time, alright? Alright, peace and I'm out.